Hello friends, this video on application of derivatives part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 10. Let's look at the new topic called tangents and normal. Here we will learn how can we use derivative to find tangent or normal for a particular curve at a given point of time. At a given point actually. So in this case, we'll learn use of differentiation to find equation of tangent and normal to a curve at a given point. Please note at a given point is critical because we have to find these things at a given point. So equation of a line passing through point x0, y0 and x0, y0 and with the slope m is this we know this this is a prerequisite you should know this that equation of a line which passes through x0 y0 and has slope m is y minus y0 is equal to m into x minus x0 i'll tell you how for example this is a line i know x0 y0 as a point this i know let x y be any point and this is a slope is m then we can say that slope is nothing but y minus y0 by x minus x0 correct and this is what you get y minus y0 is equal to m into x minus x0 is the equation of a straight line with points x0 y0 and slope m now if you want to find the tangent to the curve y is equal to fx the first thing i have to find is slope why because my equation has nothing but two points and a slope. So if I can find the slope and two points, I can find the equation of tangent. Correct. When I'm talking about fixed points, I know the fixed points also. When I'm telling that I want to find tangent to this curve at these points x0, y0, I have these points. The only thing is I now want to find the slope. So let's find the slope. Slope is defined as nothing but if you have this let's suppose some curve at this point you want to find slope slope is nothing but you find the derivative of this function at this point so if you see slope of tangent please note slope of tangent is nothing but f dash x naught because at this point x naught this point is nothing but x naught y naught at this point x naught you just find the derivative and that becomes the slope of the tangent correct if i have curve like this this is my tangent and the slope of the tangent is nothing but f dash x naught now if i have a slope i can just choose this equation y minus y naught is equal to m instead of m i am putting f dash x naught into x minus x naught this is nothing but equation of tangent so with this i have for a given curve i can find the slope of tangent that is nothing but f dash x0 where x0 is the point where we have to find the slope because if you see if i have my uh, curve like this let's suppose curve like this then let's suppose this is a curve at this point the slope is this at this point slope is this so if you see the slope varies based on the point for a given equation let's suppose this is phi is equal to fx for this equation itself at various points of x the slope changes so when you are talking about slope or tangent for a given curve you have to define a point where you want to find the slope or tangent so similarly in this case i wanted to find the slope of the tangent at point x0 y0 and the value is nothing but f dash x0 this we have learned so the once i have the slope i can get the equation with this general formula y minus y0 is equal to m instead of m i'm saying f dash x0 because i'm finding equation of tangent here please note I am finding equation of tangent, so m is equal to f dash x0. Now same thing if I want to do for the normal. For normal, my slope is minus 1 by f dash x0. Why? Because normal is something like this. If this is my slope, this is my normal. So normal is nothing but normal is perpendicular to slope. Correct. And if I know that if two slopes or two slopes are perpendicular then m1 into m2 is nothing but minus 1 
let m n be the slope of normal and m two be the slope of uh, tangent. So if you see here, m one is nothing but so it's minus one minus one by m two. Correct. Slope of normal is nothing but minus one by slope of tangent. Correct. See slope m of normal into m of tangent is nothing but minus one because they are perpendicular. So slope of normal is nothing but minus one by slope of tangent, and that is nothing but minus one by f dash x naught. So once I have slope of tangent, I can very well find the equation of tangent. Sorry, once I have slope of normal, I can very well find the equation of normal. That is nothing but same thing. Y minus y naught is equal to m instead of m. I am saying minus one by f dash x naught into x minus x naught. Same thing. If you rewrite, you get this value. It is y minus y naught into f dash x naught plus x minus x naught is equal to zero. This is my slope of equation of normal. Please note both the equation are different. This guy is my equation of tangent at x naught y naught. This guy is my equation of normal at x naught y naught. See, logically everything is same. The only Change here is in case of tangent my slope is f dash x naught. In case of normal my slope is minus one by f dash x naught. Now once I get the slope, I can use I'm using the same formula to derive the equations. We have some special scenarios in case of tangent and normal. First case when the tangent line is zero, that is tan theta is zero, and second case when the slope of tangent line is pi by two. So this is I'll tell you how. My this is my slope. Let's suppose. So if my at this point, if you see my slope is slope of tangent is equal to zero. So here tan theta is zero because the angle which this line makes with x-axis is zero. So in this case, in this case, for example, this the same curve at this point, if you see my slope is like this. So at this point. My here tan theta is pi. Here my slope is pi by two. Here my slope is zero. Here my slope is pi by two. And here my tan theta is tan pi by two. That is one actually. So it is infinite. Tan pi by two is infinite because Sine zero by cos zero. Sine zero is one. Cos zero is zero. So it is infinite. Yeah. So here slope is pi uh, tan uh, theta is infinite. Correct. Let's take some examples to understand these kind of questions. We have the first question that says we have to find the slope of the tangent. Please note, I have to find the slope of tangent. Slope of tangent to this curve. At x is equal to four. So if you want to visualize this, this is a curve. This is the x y axis, and this is some curve actually. And at x is equal to four, let's suppose this point. I want to find slope of tangent. I know that slope of tangent is nothing but f dash. X not where x not is the point where I am to want to find the slope. Correct. So if my f x is equal to three x to the power four minus four x, my f dash x will be nothing but three into this will become four x cube and this will become x will become one. That is twelve x cube minus four. Now instead of x, I'll put four because I am interested in f x naught, and here x naught is four, so this becomes twelve into four q minus four. That is twelve into four q is sixty four minus four. We solve this, this becomes seven sixty four. Correct. Seven sixty eight minus four seven sixty. So this is nothing but My slope of tangent because this is nothing but f dash four. 
correct so my slope of tangent is very easy to find that is nothing but 764 and to find this I did nothing I found the value of f dash 4 because my slope of tangent at part, at a point x0 is nothing but f dash x0 let's take one more example here we have to find the slope of tangent to the curve y is equal to this x q x q minus 3 x plus 2 at the point whose x coordinate is 3 similar question the only thing is the language is difference here instead of giving the point they are saying point whose x coordinate is 3 that is there is a point that is 3 comma y is a point because there is a point x y and x coordinate is 3 so y coordinate is not known so there is a point 3 comma y and at that point again we have to find slope of tangent correct same thing here slope of tangent is nothing but f dash of 3 why because the point is 3 here x naught is 3 here correct at this point we have to find the slope so first thing my fx is nothing but x cube minus 3x plus 2 so I'll find f dash x that will become 3x square minus 3 and then I'll find f dash of 3 that will become 3 into x becomes 3 3 square minus 3 that is 27 minus 3 and that is nothing but 24 so this is my slope at x is equal to 3 for this curve correct thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again